Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Joseph and Crystal and Katrina. We are all sitting here doing another meal tonight and we wanted to share it with you guys. So, I'm going to unplug that. It's 95%. So, what we are doing today is we are going to be cooking a baked vegetable. Is that correct, Katrina? Yes, baked vegetable. Baked vegetables and the ingredient list is three large white potatoes, two good sized sweet potatoes, um, then we have onions, baby carrots, baby spinach, and mushrooms. mushrooms. And what we are going to be doing is this this recipe is one of those that has many little stages. What about the sauce? We'll, we'll worry about the sauce when it gets there. Oh, okay. This is one of the recipes that has many little stages. So basically what you do is you're going to wash and you cook each individual item separately. So, oh, she's not waggling her head. Okay, Katrina, you talk. Well, kind of. Um, so each vegetable really needs to be baked for a different amount of time, but it also depends on your personal taste. So I know my dad likes it when there's still a little bit of firmness or crunchiness in some of the vegetables, but I personally like them when they're totally soft. Um, but more vegetables, or some vegetables will need more time. So for instance, our carrots here are the vegetables that are gonna need the most time. So we'll put them in first on their own pan, but eventually you know, you'll start adding to that same pan with other vegetables that don't need as much time. So we're starting off, we're cooking the carrots first yes. on a cookie sheet lined with wax paper. Yes. But you typically use parchment paper. I do. I usually so what use temperature? 425. For about how long? Well, for the carrots, I'm going to say maybe try to give them a dozen to 15 minutes head start. Every once in a while you want to open it up and poke it with a fork and see how you think. So and then when you're ready, you add the next vegetable to it. So it's traditionally like how you do boiled potatoes where you poke them until they reach the softness or firmness that you like for either potato salad or with mashed potatoes. Yes, exactly. Okay. Right. So but it's a poke test. If you're going to add vegetables to it, then you're not, you're going to want to put in the other vegetables when the carrots are, they still need more time to cook. You don't want to cook the carrots to doneness and then put other vet, other stuff in and right. now it's mush. That's not how I do it. Okay. So we're going to have three cookie sheets going at one time? Yes. Okay. So walk us through on the kind of the stages. So the top one's going to have carrots, the second one's going to have... Right. Well, um, you know, I think some of this is just personal preference and habit. But uh, I usually do the carrots first in their own pan. And after they're getting pretty soft, then I usually throw in onions into that same pan. And they usually don't take that much long, longer. In another pan, I'll do the sweet potatoes first. Maybe seven, eight minutes head start. And then I put in the white potatoes. And near the end, just with the last 10 minutes left, I throw in mushrooms. And after you've already taken the pans out, is when I add the spinach and you just mix it in there and it'll naturally, you know, wilt from the heat and steam from the other vegetables. And then you season it. So as we're cutting up the potatoes and the carrots and stuff, you're coating them with olive oil, correct? Yes. So everything is going to be washed, cut, and coated with olive oil, yes. put it on the tray and bake. And then yes. at the very end is when you add your seasonings. Yes. And just like chips, this is one of those dips that you, this is one of the dishes that you can have whatever dip or sauce you want with it, correct? To your preference. Yes, uh, so you can combine it with whatever you want. Um, so a lot of times my go-to was hot sauce. I called the Hillary Clinton special. <laughs> and <laughs> sometimes, Why? <laughs> sometimes you can use tzatziki or pesto or hummus. Um, or sometimes I just get curry, Indian curry in a bag. You just microwave it and mix it with the vegetables. It's whatever you want to do. And today we are using picante, correct? Yes. So I convinced them to buy some piece of picante because that's usually what I like to have with my vegetables. That and maybe some cheese. And we made a homemade batch of uh, hummus the other day that Dad's phone did not record on. 
we did the whole recording. It told us how long it was, and when you hit stop, it failed to save. So we've got a little bit of avocado hummus we made from scratch, yeah. and we are going to uh, use some of that. But that is a future video coming up of us remaking homemade hummus from scratch. So, and my wife in the background is making um, bihon, which we have another video on this channel of her making bihon. Last time we used rotisserie chicken. This time she's chopping up and cubing pork steaks, pork chops. So. Um, this is, this video is going to be paused quite a bit. So you're going to see stuff rearranged in the background as we go through each step, because what this, what you do is you bake everything individually and merge it in at the end. So we will pause you now while we start chopping onions or do you want to, oh, come on, let's just go over to the cutting board. All right. So what do you cut up first? Carrots? Well, the first thing I always like to do is carrots because they need the most time. All so, right. uh, Usually, right, the Kroger bags say that they are washed and ready to eat. So if you trust that, like I usually do, I just open up the bag and dump it on the pan. So you do whole peeled baby carrots? Yeah, that's what I do as a shortcut. But, you know, my parents often would buy big carrots and just cut them up. Uh, so you can do that, too. It's just an extra step. And, you know, lazy college student, I buy baby carrots. How about it? Let's and we have a small leftover bag from uh, when we were eating baby carrots and ranch dip and hummus. Come on, get out of there. Got it. Alright, so I have, I have the oven set on 425 on a convection bake. So it's heating up and everything. Okay. And yes, we both washed our hands, so she uses her fingers. Don't get upset. Yes, and I washed, I washed the other vegetables. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, olive oil. Down at the bottom, to the right. To the right. There you go. So basically, what we're doing is we're roasting all of these. Anytime you coat something in olive oil and roast in the oven, it's... You're going to use your fingers or the spatula? I'm going to try to use the spatula. Just make sure that they get all evenly coated in olive oil. So what do we need to get started next? So next, you will want to be peeling the sweet potatoes. So, um... I'm going to set these aside since they're going to be last. Right, I'm going to set about the sweet potatoes. All right, go ahead. So, uh, you might want to peel the sweet potatoes. If you don't, they will, the skins will get chewy in the end. But, um, you do lose a lot of nutrition if you do peel them. So, I usually am willing to... Uh, eat the skins a little bit more chewy to get the nutrition that I want. Um, but Papa Joe has a very tender mouth, so we need to make sure that stuff's not overly chewy for the old man. So you know how vocal he is? If we were to do a chewy potato, we'd never hear the end of it. So let us peel and we'll come right back and chop. All right, everyone, we're back. So we are in the kitchen still, and the girls are where they belong in the kitchen. <laughs> no comment, you girls are no fun. I said the what? <laughs> we were exchanging looks behind your back. Oh. Anyway, Crystal's working on her bihon, and Katrina is cutting sweet potatoes. So, we have the next tray here beside us ready to go. And you want me to go ahead and stick this in on a timer? Well, it's not at 425 yet. Yes, it is. That's what it's saying at us for. 
ready to bake. Even though it says 395? Yes. So this oven, since it's convection bake, it always drops the temperature down on you. Okay. So you want it close to the heater now? Uh. I put it on the middle rack. How long? Set 15 it minutes? For 12. Set it for 12. Thing. It depends on how thick you're going to cut your vegetables, and everyone's going to have their different preferences. But um, this is about the size that my parents would cut it to. So that's roughly a one by one inch cube, correct? Yeah. A little bit bigger than a one by one. Right. I'm going to pause you guys now and we'll come back once uh, she's done chopping up and murdering these poor cow food. Thank you, my love. Where is the um, spatula that I was using? That's over here. Thanks. So, the same amount, you just want to generously coat everything in olive oil? Yeah. Just eyeball it. And you don't add any salt or pepper at this stage, you do that all at the end. I haven't, and my mom never did, so I don't either. I don't know, you can see if you experiment. Uh, no, we'll follow the recipe the first time, then we'll play with it. So you will do, you will do the same to the... Um Regular potato? Yeah, we just won't peel those, but yeah. Oh, okay. And those white potatoes cook quicker than sweet potatoes. They're more sweet potatoes are more dense. Right. So, so we're gonna do them first for a little while. Right. So she's gonna slide that in. Yeah. How long do you do those for? Go ahead. It's all a bit of a guessing game. That's fine. Oh, but whoa. maybe on the same timer. Is the um light it's burning? Is the um paper burning? No, the oil is oh, showing the color of the pan underneath. Oh, okay. The flash point for oil is like 390 degrees, so we should be fine. So do you want to pause it? Um, yeah, we can pause it. We're waiting right now. Reach up there and hit pause, Katrina. Alright, so it's my turn with the knife. They're actually trusting me with something sharp and pokey. Well, it's not too pokey, but it is sharp. Mm -hmm. So, I've been tasked with cutting the white potatoes, just like the sweet potatoes. We are going for roughly a one inch cube. That way everything kind of has the same thickness and doneness. And we are doing three baking potatoes, is what I always call them. It's what typically you'd make a baked potato out of. And the easiest thing to do is I just quartered them and cutting them about an inch apart. And the reason we have more white potato than the sweet potato is, well, to be all honest, is the white potato is better than the sweet potato. All right, we'll be back when the timer's done. 
Tell them what you're doing. Okay, so we set the timer for about 12 minutes, and I think maybe the sweet potatoes are getting done enough that we can add the white potatoes. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, the carrots, I think, still had a ways to go, so they're still sitting by themselves on their pan in the oven. I think that's going to be about it. What do you think? You can do any more? Yeah, you can do a little more. You got plenty up here in this corner. How much more you got? This much. Come on, we can get it to fit. So generally you want to make sure this is... Well, we're going to toss it all with olive oil again now. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, fine. Move your cutting board. So something to keep in mind also, guys, the smoke point for olive oil, depending upon if it's virgin, extra virgin, or refined, you have to pay attention to that because your stuff may smoke, but it will not catch on fire. 470 degrees is the flash point for most olive oils, but the smoke point can be as low as here, 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So just keep in mind of that. I'm not putting those back on the pan. Oh, <laughs> damn it, girl. You know, the pot was too full, you just had to say. You don't have to throw it down. Sorry. Okay, I think we're ready. Thank All right. You. Can you lift it? Yes. I picked them all up. Well, I was I cleaned up your mess. to my shorts. Oh, oil on your shorts. Yeah. Alright, um, oh, what time is it? How long? 8.15, dear. Oh, I need to check what do you think? 15. 15? Or we can set it to 7.30, half, and then mix it around some more. We can do that. Okay. And maybe we check the carrots. Sure. All right, so we put it on for another seven and a half minutes. We're going to check the carrots and everything at that point. We'll be back. So I don't know what happened to the timer. It may have gone off or we may have never actually set it. But I think about seven and a half minutes have passed. So I'm just going to check and make sure that everything is still, yep, needing a lot more cooking. And I'm just going to... Move things around again, expose different sides. Uh -oh. And put it back in for maybe another seven and a half minutes. So that would be a total that would be a total of fifteen minutes, yes. Yeah, I usually don't get the pan quite this full. Yeah. Case in point. I'm also tossing the carrots again, and they clearly need more time, or most of them do. The smaller ones are, are getting pretty done, but these bigger ones definitely still need more time. So I'm just moving them around. Okay. 
putting them back in the oven for, I don't know, maybe, maybe five more minutes and then I'll throw in the onions with them. All right, we're gonna cut the onion now too. How do you, what size? Do you mince it or what size do you do that? Like that. Oh, okay, you just do onion slivers. Yeah. Can you give me... What, my pot rack? Sit down the griddle. I'm not here. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> You coat these with olive oil also? Mm hmm Yep. Yes, I do. See, unlike my father, I'm not going to jump in there and tell you how to cut your onions. Mm hmm Because there's a thousand different ways of cutting your each and everything. I agree. So, just because you don't do it my way, I have a hard spot on one side. Okay, so... Uh, again, I don't know what happened with the timer, but I think about seven and a half minutes have passed and the carrots are pretty good. So I'm going to throw in the onions. I probably could have thrown them in a little bit earlier. You're good. All right. You can be a vlogger. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay. There's wooden spoons over here if you mm. want to toss it better. Okay, I didn't know that. I just yeah. knew you had some right there. Okay. That'd probably be easier to pick it up and toss. Okay, and um, you have to be really careful with the onions. Uh, so lately I've been actually burning the tips of them. Not burning, so, it's caramelizing. Um, well, when they turn black, I'm pretty sure at that point it's burnt. Um, so I'm gonna be really careful and trying to watch these this time. Maybe give them five to seven minutes and call it good maybe, I think. Record again? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I just put in the carrots with the onions and I just took out the potatoes. All right. So the fork is going through really well, actually. I'd maybe just give them a little bit more time. That one is. A little bit hard still. So. Getting stuck to the paper. Well, there's a spatula behind you. Why don't you use that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> oh, those look really done. Well, the fork goes through some of them okay. But not, not quite all of them. Oh, we're tearing the paper. All right, well, that's no biggie. We can replace it. Wow. Okay. Do you want to go with... Um, how about we get that other one out? The other pan, hip pause. Okay. All right, so... We just had to switch pans. So, as we just learned doing this recipe together, parchment paper is better than wax paper when doing this. For the reason being that the wax paper that we've been using just tore to shreds after we've oiled stuff twice and put it back. So, use now, you could use aluminum foil, yes. but that's something that you're going to have to adjust your times on what you're using. And then the 
You know, heck, if you want to use a straight pan, you could use pan with no liner. We just don't like scrubbing vegetables off of our, you know, cooking sheets. So that's a lesson. So we literally tore it to shreds and it's a little ball of wax paper in our trash can. And we had to put new down in order to do the next set. So we'll be back with you. We're getting close to the end. So I'm back and I just opened the two containers we had of the mushrooms. And I just put them in a strainer and washed them. And now I'm going over them with a paper towel. I know you can see it. To dry them off. I normally just use like a regular cloth to dry my vegetables, including the mushrooms, but it will stain the cloth. So you have to be okay with that. They bought white mushrooms. I like using portobello personally, but um, you know, just personal taste. Okay, so they don't need long in the oven. I'm just going to move them over here into the pan. Right. And I will mix them with some olive oil. And it'll probably be, I'll try about 10 minutes. That might be good. I don't know if it'll be any different for white mushrooms versus the portobello I'm used to cooking with. But I guess we'll see. I hit stop again. Okay. That's fine. So after seven and a half minutes, our timer went off. And we've taken out both, let's see, yeah, you can see, both the carrot and onion pan and the potato pan. And the carrots feel really, really soft. Um, they really didn't need to get that soft, but it depends on preference. You can see the onions maybe could have used more cooking, like in their middle. But if you can see, they were already starting to kind of brown on the end. And I'd say the potatoes are pretty close to done, but I might actually cook them for another few minutes. You want to come try? No, I trust your opinion. Okay, we're going to put the potatoes in the oven for maybe another four minutes, I think. Alright, we're back one more time. So, uh, three to five minutes was good enough for the potatoes, and ten minutes was... I think perfect for the mushrooms. So I just merged the mushrooms on top here with the potatoes. And um, normally I would merge it all together, including with the carrots and onions, but um, I know Crystal doesn't like onions and some other people might not either. So we'll just let people merge them as they choose and um, add toppings to them as they choose. You're going to season everything though, right? Yes, I'm going to season. That's true. So I guess I should keep it going, huh? All right. It depends on what you're going to season it with. So I always have to season it with garlic. Cinnamon? Yeah. Not cinnamon. <laughs> Although you can do cinnamon carrots, and those are kind of like a healthy dessert. Right. Okay. All right. And yes, thank you. Okay. You need bigger hands or less seasoning. And uh, I like to go with an Italian type seasoning that my mom would use. Um, and the strongest one that I like to use is rosemary. So I use a lot more of it than any of the others. That would have been good to bake with it. You think so? And rosemary is delicious when you bake it. Okay. That's why you do use rosemary and bake roasted garlic. And a little bit of marjoram, but not a lot. A little bit of? Marjoram. Okay, never heard of it. And, let's see. Okay. And a little bit of thyme, but maybe... Again, not quite as much as the rosemary. 
and I'll put it there right now. Now we gotta mix them up. All right, here. <laughs> How's that? Mix up your vegetables, Papa Joe. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, <laughs> vegetables. I'll get the seasoning. You just thought you were gonna get to make a video without me. Yeah, I did. Ha! Oh well. That ain't gonna happen. All right. So, Joe, you going on the table with these on the trays, or you got something to put them in? No, you can go on the table with them. I'm just asking. I don't know if that's ready yet. What is this back here? Tofu. Tofu? Oh, Chinese protein. Tofu? Yeah. Protein, huh? Tofu. I'm sorry, honey. You want me to go get you some beef? No. <laughs> I'll get I don't you some get beef. Sick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fourth of July, you ate <laughs> beef. All right. Um, if you want to add a bit of salt to them, you can. But maybe I'll leave that to, to people yes. to decide. Yes. Yeah. And with my salt. Sea salt. Fancy. Ooh, ancient yeah. sea salt. Yeah. So this might be as old as Dad. Oh yeah. I'll eat and you can all right. off all you want. Huh? I do. Why would you turn it on? I thought it stop. Oh, damn. All right, folks. That's it. It looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. Except that tofu. I ain't sure what the hell tofu is. I keep hearing about it. I might actually try a bite of it just so yeah. I can say that I can. Oh. Uh, Thank you guys for recording and doing the cooking. And y'all hit the like button. Tell them if you give it a try. Y'all remember, God loves you, so do we. Y'all have a blessed evening. This is a recipe we thought they could do in their toaster ovens in the truck. You they know. could. And their convention ovens and that kind of stuff. Yep. That's very true. So. Oh, All right, y'all, I'm going to eat. Bye.